ready to go. We're locked in. This is the grand finals. Let's get some hype in the Twitch chat. Let's get some hype in the crowd. It all comes down to this. Rise versus Shady. And Rise has that Shadow Flygar in the lead, and Shady has that Griselli. Such a neutral matchup, but we've seen this play out a lot of times. Both trainers are going to need two charge attack to finish this matchup. All right, in comes the dig. No shield, it looks like, on the first one, letting this full dig go through. Does quite a big chunk of damage, but this Griselli is able to hang on versus both. Does not want to bait here. The Shady goes straight for this Moonblast. A small chance for a debuff. Rise opting to no shield. And as Shady Equation, you have to imagine that Rise is bringing that Umbreon that he's been relying on so much during this tournament. He's probably happy that the Cresselia is getting to avoid it. Both teams are actually over farming here. A Shady Equation going for the Grass Knot, getting as many Psycho Cuts in as he can. Looks like Rise to Equation is going to try to build up some more energy before trying to take out this Cresselia. All right. I think there's a lot of opportunity for over farm. Don't want to go over 100 energy. You want to throw before there could be a charge attack priority on the next turn. Here comes the dig. Aerial Ace probably not enough to knock out, and this is going to go unshielded by a Shady Equation. Down goes the Cresselia. Maybe okay with the shield advantage here, but bringing in the Lantern now is a Shady Equation that needs to watch out for these digs. Yeah, again, doesn't have enough fast attack pressure on his team to really be able to farm down this Ligar, but a Rise to Equation oh, gets the successful Aerial Escape on a Shady Equation. Might be able to reach a dig now as a result. I would have liked to have seen maybe a Shady Equation go straight for that Surf before you reach that second dig, but perhaps just the double shield Lantern strategy maybe spark this Gligar all the way down, but no, a quick swap from Rise bringing in the Umbreon. There is no Skarmory that's going to be meeting. There is no uh, Cresselia. I think that you just stay in this matchup is a, as a shady equation. Yeah, you don't have a great answer. Umbran is incredibly neutral into both of these back two Pokemon. And actually, you see that Lantern in the back by Rise to Occasion. So this is a little bit of a risky play if that Lantern ends up getting locked onto the Whiskash, which it's looking like because the shady equation is just staying in. That could spell bad news. The tenacity of a shady equation recognizing just how valuable this Whiskash can be. Didn't bring it at all in the previous series. Now has it ready to go in the back here versus Rise. Now here we see Rise throwing not the foul play but the Dark Pulse. This is going to be favored here into uh, into this Lantern, but you really need to get a lot of damage into this Lantern, somehow find a way to neutralize it. Let's not forget that he still has that Gligar hanging out in the back though, with just a sliver of HP. Looks like a Shady Equation is very happy to see that the Umbreon has dumped all of its energy onto the Lantern. Going to start farming up energy with the Whizcash Dark Pulse coming through from Rise to Equation. It's going to go unshielded as Shady Equation has no Protect Shields left, so we're going to have to see how he chooses to deal with the rest of this Umbreon. All right, here comes the Dark Pulse. Does a nice chunk. Switch clocks are up now for Rise to Occasion. You need a charge attack to knock out. Actually, I think waited a turn there. Maybe tried to catch a charge attack. At this point, though, you're capped on energy as a Shady Equation. You're not going to farm down. You're forced to throw energy. So I like this strategy from Rise, just providing an energy dump, and it does knock out the Gligar. This brings now in the Lantern with a shield advantage, but this Whiskash still has a ton of energy. Yeah, one Mud Bomb definitely not going to be enough to take out. You need to reach three here. One to take the Protect shield two to knock out and it's going to come down to this if the lanterns surf knocks out the whizcash that's going to be terrible for a shady equation but i think it might just be uh, add enough health to survive one surf keep an eye on the switch clock so a shady equation almost has that switch clock ready to go rise actually able to get the surf off just before switch clock was available the surf is going to be hitting for neutral this is shadow whizcash it takes 20 percent more damage will it knock off knock out no it hangs off with just a sliver of hp this lantern has energy can it get to this thunderbolt to knock out his own lantern here it comes i think this is going to be enough so it is enough but remember rise still has that little bit of an umbreon in the back if it can get a snarl down here and hit that whizcash in the back i think this might be a good game in favor of rise okay but actually throws the foul play does not go for the snarl down didn't want to risk getting sparked down this umbreon is now energy dry it's going to be met by the whizcash still for shady equation it's a battle of fast attacks one snarl is all you need and game number one on the back of Umbreon going to rise to rise two wins away from winning yet another regional championship. We're going to see the Umbreon again, this time lined up versus the Shadow Gligar on the side of a Shady Equation. Pretty neutral matchup here. We're going to see both trainers just farming up a little bit of energy over the charge attack here. Shady Equation going for this very first dig is a little bit more efficient than Aerial Ace. I think for Rise, the X Factor is going to be his own Shadow Gligar. Might have some great play into not only that Big Roth, but maybe the Lantern as well. Actually, a swap now by a Shady Equation. Swap in his lantern to catch this charge attack from the Umbreon. This is going to be the foul play, so nice call there, and not really taking too much damage. This is actually going to bring out Ryze's own lantern now. 
Yeah, and a Shady Equation is just a little bit uh, sorry, ahead on energy here, able to reach this first Thunderbolt, but you have to think, as Rise, maybe your foul play actually put enough chip damage onto this Lantern to help you spark down after a Thunderbolt. Well, keep in mind, it takes so long to get to those Thunderbolts, so you can over-farm so significantly, and as you're over-farming, you're able to get a lot of chip damage in the form of those neutral sparks. So here comes the Thunderbolt. This is going to be very close to knocking out a Shady Equation's Lantern. Shady Equation wants to get some more value out of his own Lantern, uses the Protect Shield. Must be very happy to not see another bait here. Throws the Thunderbolt just before Ryze is able to reach his own Thunderbolt. We'll have to see if Ryze decides to put up a Protect Shield. He does have a lot of energy on this Lantern. I think that a Shady Equation wants to get his Vigoroth realigned versus that Umbreon. Maybe even willing to put a second Protect Shield here. Keep in mind, though, this could be a serve. He's maybe thinking, is he going to bait? This Thunderbolt absolutely will knock out, and a Shady Equation off to let it go. This is going to allow Ryze to maintain Switch Advantage with an even shielding scenario. Switch Clocks are back up, though. Maybe he tries to pivot out to avoid a farm down from this bigger off. Well, he's very close to another charge attack here, so able to reach the Surf, just gonna fire it off, still has a little bit of health and a little bit more farm for a Shady Equation. So we'll have to see what Ryze decides to do. Maybe he switches out, like he said, to avoid a farm down. And yes, there it is, brings in the Gligar to now absorb this energy. But that chip damage is so valuable because now you just need one Aerial Ace to knock out this bigger off after the wing attacks. Maybe a couple more wing attacks beyond that as well, but it makes this job so much easier. However, a Shady Equation does swap in his own Gligar. I think they are very close to being on even energy now, a Shady Equation still has one Protect Shield. Does he want to use it on this Aerial Ace from Ryze? Yes, he uses his final Protect Shield. He has seen all three Pokemon at this point. Thinks that Aerial Ace is going to do the most damage. Almost at two Aerial Aces there, but not quite. Ryze to Occasion got his Wing Attack through. He's going to shield this up and try to get that energy off. Will this be a Charge Attack priority? Are they both one away? No! Like you said, Ryze has the attack ready to go. It's not going to be enough to knock out. How much can a Shady Equation over farm? He wants to go into this next matchup with energy, but this... Wing or sorry, this Aerial Ace is going to leave him dangerously low. How much can he afford to overfarm? I think he might be one or two away from that next Aerial Ace. Yeah, but if the Lantern comes in, you probably want to get... Well, actually, no, the Lantern is very low, right? The Snarls from the Umbreon actually aren't going to apply a lot of fast attack pressure, so maybe he can go for the, all the way for the dig. Yes, there it is. Oh, but the catch on Lantern! What a devastating catch. That wasn't just the Aerial Ace, it was the full dig. Going to be absolutely absorbed here with a third shield in the form of this Lantern. Now Umbreon has a lot of energy and needs to get through this Vigoroth. Shields are down. You've got two foul plays. One Dark Pulse, probably not enough. You need to land not one, but two. And I think has right has both of them loaded. A Shady Equation did get the Body Slam there, but it's not going to be enough. He needs a couple more counters. Not able to get them, and Ryze is going to throw off the second foul play. Huge catch there to deny a Shady Equation's energy. Tournament winning plays potentially there with that catch on the dig. So impressive. Now you just need one Snarl to take out the Gligar. Game number two going to Ryze versus a Shady Equation. We're going to see the Annihilate for the first time. It'll get matched up here versus the Shadow Whiskash. Nice matchup for the Annihilate. You have a lot of fast attack pressure here, especially against the Shadow variant of this Whiscash. Expect to see Shady throw this Skulls very, very soon, going for a debuff. Ryze actually goes straight for the Night Slash, doesn't even build up to the Shadow Ball. Yeah, maybe trying to throw on charge attack priority there, wanting to get some damage off before a potential debuff. It takes this Whiscash down below 50% HP, but this is going to be a lot of damage coming in the form of the Skull. Ryze uses the Protect Shield. Yeah, counter comes through there, and the Skull is going to go shielded, but uh, Shady Equation actually going to switch out into that Lantern. He knows it's very, very safe into Ryze's team. Uh, and Ryze is still staying in here. Maybe he wants to... Oh, banks the Shadow Ball before coming to the Umbreon. Okay, this is interesting now. We see the Umbreon come through, and we've seen this matchup play out so many times. Umbreon with Dark Pulse has some good play into this Lantern. I'm curious, Ryze is probably calculating right now which combinations of Foul Play and Dark Pulse do I need to take out this Lantern. Meanwhile, takes a little bit of chip damage here, throws on good timing, and is able to get this first Dark Pulse into the Lantern. Looks like he's hoping that he countered the Lantern into double Dark Pulse range, potentially. Looks like that actually might be right with a couple more Snarls. That might be just the perfect amount of damage you need. Meanwhile, Shady Equation farming up a lot of energy with this Lantern. Gonna fire off a Thunderbolt here. I think you're gonna need a Thunderbolt and a Surf to knock out this Umbreon. So I think it's in the balls in Ryze's court right now. We have the Dark Pulse loaded, maybe even a little bit of an over farm. You risk getting to the Surf, and I like the way, even though this is not optimal timing, you know that this is when you can throw before this Lantern is is able to reach its next charge attack. The question is, does Dark Pulse knock out? No, Lantern hangs on, has the Surf ready to go, oh, but no, but he actually... 
think had an over tap there, unfortunately, maybe trying to swap back into that whiz cash, had a full surf's worth of energy, but the lantern goes down. And that could be devastating because now, not only did you knock it off the surf, you have to take this extra foul play, which because you didn't knock out the Umbreon, now it still has all of its energy. That surf could have been critical. Like you said, it would have knocked out that Umbreon. Instead, you get this chip damage into the Skarmory, and now this Annihilate comes back in. A Shady Equation needs to make a call, but no, he shields this Night Slash, unfortunately, recognizing that this counter damage is so, so imposing. You pretty much have to shield everything at this point. Yeah, remember Rise to Occasion. He switched out of that lead matchup with a ton of energy. Now it's just able to throw these Night Slashes because, like you said, those fast attacks are really starting to add up. Shitty Equation trying to overfarm just a little bit here, throwing this Sky Attack. Rise is shielding up. He knows that these counters and this Night Slash that he's about to reach are going to be absolutely pivotal. Look, Rise has to get through the Skarmory somehow. He does not want to have his Gligar locked into it. He shields down now, though, and whoa! Able to get the Charge Attack priority. Great County doesn't go for the Night Slash. It may not knock out, goes straight for this Shadow Ball here. This is going to take out the Gligar. You still have to get through the Skarmory, though. Will you get Fast Attack down? Do you have enough HP to take out not only this Annihilate? No! Here comes the Night Slash. Will this be enough to knock out the Skarmory? And this might be it, Jim. This is a Shady Equation's last Pokemon. Didn't even see the Gligar, and it looks like Ryze is able to take this series 3-0. Three! To oh. Three. I think they're definitely out of sync, and the question is more whether it was actually impactful. Looks like uh, the review is not going through, and Rise to Occasion is, in fact, your Los Angeles regional champion. Rise to Occasion not dropping a single set here 